Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I'm shaking, I'm sure you can tell, but I just found a pot full of silver coins and, and some other stuff in here. That's an 1877 Indian. Oh my word. Ray! <laughs> yeah, you got me, man. Ah. Oh, I've been having a rough one oh, until look now. At it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> On live dig! Oh my god! Yeah! 1875, baby! Hey guys, uh, first of all, uh, it's been a long, long time, so uh, it's good to be back. I just want to say, uh, I want to apologize to my subscribers. Uh, I've been on a long hiatus. Uh, it's been a good two or three years since I put out been putting out videos regularly, I should say, about three, three and a half years regularly. And uh, so hopefully I still have some subscribers out there. Uh, thank you for keeping me if you have. And uh, this year is going to be different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out some videos this year, hopefully weekly. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but um, a lot of things have happened in the last few years. Uh, so I know um, a lot is going on in the world right now. Uh, with this coronavirus and, and all kinds of different things. Um, so yeah, for me, I've just, uh, I've started a new business. I won't, I'm not going to bore you too long with this. Uh, I want to be quick and get to the video, but yeah, I started a new business. Took took me, you know, out of my normal, you know, routine. Um, so I've been, I've been really, really busy with that. I have a four-year-old girl who I've been, you know, spending a lot of time with over the last three or four years. Obviously, uh, I've been uh, the sole, well, not the sole caretaker, but the daytime caretaker uh, where my business is at home. So anyways, uh, to make a long story short, I'm back. Um, I'm living up in Maine now. Uh, I've been here for a little over a year. Maine is my original home. Uh, so we're already putting out some videos. Uh, I'm, I'm back to normal. I got a normal schedule. Uh, I got some time. So, hey, it's going to be good this summer. Uh, hopefully the virus doesn't keep us from you know doing what we need to do what we want to do uh, It's you know, it should be good because we're outside, you know, we're That's gonna be one of the only things we can, can do is go outside and <clears throat> Enjoy the weather outside you know, as long as we're not getting in group gatherings Anyways uh, on to the video. Uh, I went out with Dick and Don and we went to a place in New Hampshire a farm field that we've been to a couple times Had a great hunt. So stay tuned. You're gonna see some good finds here and uh, we'll see you out there. Okay, guys, we're back. It's We Dig History, and uh, I know it's been forever since we've made a video, but uh, it's March 21st, 2020, Saturday, and uh, <clears throat> taking a little road trip here, going to New Hampshire. Uh, we are in the in, not in the middle, but we're at the beginning of this coronavirus that is keeping everybody at home, everybody inside, everybody out of group group uh, social gatherings. And uh, so, what can you do when you can't go anywhere and see people and do things? Well, you go outside and you go metal detecting. That's what you do. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to go meet up with Dig and Dawn in New Hampshire. I am living in Maine now, so I'm going the opposite way of the way I used to go when I was living in Massachusetts. <clears throat> so, uh, but we're going to this, this uh, farm that we've been to a couple times. A lot of good things have been pulled out. Uh, we've had some uh, 1700s coppers. Uh, some large scents, some uh, buttons, nice buttons, and a beautiful belt buckle, e Civil War Eagle belt buckle by Digging Dawn. We'll show that to you uh, here at some point. And uh, just a really, really, really nice relic. 
and uh, so hopefully there's more of that in the ground. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try hard today. I think the uh, soil should be turned over from last year, uh, last fall. Farmer's really cool, really nice guy. So uh, let's let's dig some history, guys. See you at the hunt. Okay, guys, I just gotta film this. I'm about to get to the destination location, but when was the last time you saw one of those things? Straight out of National Lampoons. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. When I was a kid, you used to see them all over the place. Big old station wagon. Nice. Let's get the family together and go to the beach. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen one of those. You don't see those on the road anymore. Alright guys, we'll be there in a minute. Alright guys, here's the, uh, the farmhouse of the farm we're going to detect. Over here we have one, let's get Dawn first. This, <laughs> digging Dawn. How you doing? Been a long time, huh? Yes. We're ready. So here, here's the field we're gonna focus on first. And uh, across the street there's a couple other fields, but as you can see it's a pretty good sized field. And uh, right, right over here is where we found the, the coins uh, last year and the year before. And uh, the other side uh, is where he found the, the buckle and so we'll give this a shot and we'll be with you on the first find. Alright we are not what five minutes in here Don has the first find of the day you read the date and everything he says it's a v-nickel cool not getting a good focus here I don't know if you can see that it's this in the sun but very nice. Show you a picture of it when we get it cleaned up. Oh yeah, there we go. Very cool. Alright, I'm gonna have to get this lens cleaned up too. Looks like 1900, huh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Very nice. Awesome. On the board. Yep. With a coin. We'll be back. Okay, I just called Don over here. I, I just got a big time shock because this was a crappy signal. I didn't expect it to be anything. Uh, the numbers were actually, it was hitting in the 80s from time to time. It's what made me dig it. But it was, there must be something in the hole with it because it was so scratchy. And it wasn't going, it was, it was good one way but not the other. So, there it is right there. Oh boy. <laughs> it's dark. Yep. I like that. I think it might be a barber. That's what it looks like from yeah, here. Yeah, from here. Come on, baby. Uh, I can't get focus on this thing. Yep. It is a barber. Nice. Good for you. All right, let's get in the sun here, see if that helps. What is going on with my focus? All right, there we go, it's a little better. What do we got, 1901 it looks like, or something like that? Cool. Happy with that. She's oh, yeah. worn, but she's beautiful. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. Cool. And we're just getting started, man. Like, it's what, been 15, 20 minutes since like you that, got here? Yeah. So we're staying in the neighborhood. 1900 uh, V-Nickel and a 1901 Barber Quarter. Sweet. We'll be back. Oh, Don's got something. Oh yeah, nice. I can't see very well in this bright sun, but... That one came up a solid 49. Very cool. So that is probably turn of the century, right? Yeah, like a... It's a turn of the century um, Newfoundland bank, not bank token, but a uh, coin. Just a uh, coin all the provinces made their own. See, it's got a crown on it. Yeah, there's a crown there's there. A date underneath it? There's something underneath it. I can't see. 
don't know if that's a yeah 1900 I think unless that's part of a word <laughs> it might be part of a word there is a date underneath of it I can't 1876 it looks like oh cool yep cool all right you doing well we are doing well this is only less than five minutes after the barber do, uh, barber quarter so hey there's gonna be plenty more to come this this field is gonna produce today for sure it's already produced three good items and we've got all day to go so we'll be back okay digging done has just called me over and I have no idea what he's got no oh, he's saying he's not sure what it is it's silver you think shiny It looks like it's dark. Let's see. <clears throat> it's a Merc. Merc. Cool. I'll take a Merc. Yeah, on board. Yeah. Is it a 16D? I hope so. I'll be very right. disappointed if it's not. Well, you're rubbing it, so hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> well, very gently. Oh, okay. I left the water in the trunk. Well, anyway, it's a Merc. Hey, we nice. got two silvers on the day. Yep. And uh, V nickel and a Halifax penny. And this was not a really great signal. Huh. It was much Seems lower. like that's the case. It's kind of choppy yeah, in here. Much lower than I would expect uh, for a silver diamond. But well, we're digging pretty much everything here. Okay. So. Yeah. And we have yet to dig anything colonial. There's all the way up until early 1700s in here. Yep. We've found KG2s and some other stuff. Lots of flat buttons, dandy buttons. So yep. there's stuff in here. All right, All right, on to the next. Yeah. Okay guys, I believe I have an Indian. Just popped it out right there. It's ringing up like one, so. Uh. Yep. Looks like what it is. Yeah, it's pretty worn actually, but let's see what the front looks like. Oh yeah. Once again, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I don't know what this looks like to you guys because the sun's so bright. It's hard for me to see the screen. Try to get a date. Ooh, looks like 09. Or maybe 02. Uh, one of those. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Cool. I like it. We're finding a lot of uh, turn of the century stuff. Seems like a lot of activity from then. But I know there's colonial stuff here too, so keep on trucking. Alright, we'll be back. Okay guys, just dug another Indian head penny. I already looked at this one. This is 1902. So that's two Indians in a row. I guess one more would make a tribe. Cool, I mean, happy to have turn of the century stuff. I'd like to see some colonial stuff though. <clears throat> but that's cool, we'll keep, keep getting the Indians and Barbers and Mercs and V-Nickels, we'll take those all day. Awesome. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, I got a really good signal here. I just dug an Indian over there and uh, this is this is really smooth. It's acting like a silver quarter or a large scent. Right here, Evan. Let's see what the depth is. Got about seven inches, which is good. Uh, hoping it's a large copper or silver. I'll take either one. Uh, watch it be a clad quarter. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself, but it's still in the hole. Uh, right there. Oh, oh, I 
see something. Okay. It's right down, right there. I hope you can get a shot where my finger is. It's in the shadow, it's hard, but. I think it's gonna be a large sin. No, it's a quarter. It's another silver quarter. Uh, All right, I don't know. It looks like it's. it might be another barber. I don't want to rub it too much. Yeah, it's, uh, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it might be a barber, but I'm gonna get some water. Let me see. I don't want to rub it yet. No. Yeah, it's hard to see with the sun the way it is. It is. Uh, let me get a little bit of, yeah, I think it's gonna be a barber. Kind of looks, has that look to it. Looks like there might be an eagle right there. This might be the eagle side. All right, guys, we're gonna go get some water on this, and we'll be back. Second silver quarter of the day. All right. Okay, guys, back at the truck here. Just gonna pour some water on this, and we think it's a barber. So, kind of pat it. Yeah, that's a barber, I can see it. There's the eagle right there. So it's got some crusty stuff. Here's the head. It's got some crusty stuff on it. I don't know if it was in a fire or something, but. Cool. Let's see if we can get a date here. Yeah. Uh Looks like a, yeah, it's really hard to see here. All right, we'll get back to you. Okay guys, this signal is kind of iffy, so I wasn't sure I didn't start filming but there's something big down there uh, looks like we might have our first copper of the day I hope oh yeah yeah you can see the impression there that is a copper let's see what it is it looks smooth oh there might be some detail uh, I don't know, this might be a smoothie. Hold on. The old pants trick. <sighs> Alright, what do we got? Nothing. Uh, might be something faint on there. Well... Let you know if I get any detail later. It's probably a King George or something. There's something starting to show through. Yeah, something there. King George or something. All right, we'll be back. I think I just got my second copper of the day. You see the pin pointer in the hole? It's out of the hole, right there. Oh yeah, another, the last one I found out was a KG2, this is about the same size, so this one might have something on it, let's see, uh, hard to tell, I'm getting more crap on it, my thumb, I don't know. I think that's there's something there. Is that Britannia? I don't know. Uh, oh, there's a bust right there. KG2. Yep. There we go. Cool.
double KG2. Nice. Very cool. I'll take it. All right. We'll be back. Okay guys, I got a really crappy signal actually, and I was surprised it was anything at all. I expected it to just be junk, like really crappy. And I've got, it's round, and I thought it was a button at first, and I picked it up, and I put it right back down, because I thought it might be silver. It could possibly be like a real or something. I may be jinxing myself, but go ahead. John's got the water. Yeah, that's silver, baby. Oh, it is. That is silver. What is it? Oh, come on, baby. Uh, B-U-S. I'm sure it's a real. Oh, there's a little film on there. Sorry, guys. I My phone cut out because I've lost my memory in my phone, so I had to delete some stuff. But, yeah, it's definitely Spanish. Wow. Looks like it's got some really good detail, too. Shane's killing it today. <laughs> two coppers, two barber quarters, two Indians. I'll take it. So I should get two reals then, right? Yeah. Everything's in twos today. Nice. We'll show it to you cleaned up later. Happy to have that, baby. Oh, man. That made my day. I gotta cut my nails. All right. We'll be back. Okay guys, we're at the uh, the wrap up here. We're gonna make this quick because we're cold and tired. It's been a long day, but we did pretty well. Uh, here's Don's stuff. Started out with that V nickel right there, 1900. Then he got that Halifax coin, that's pretty cool. 1876 it looks like. I'll show you the back of that real quick. Not much on there. And you get that Merc, it was a 19... 18D. 18D. Small scratch in it, but not bad. That's cool. And then you got a buffalo that we didn't 1919. film. 1919 buffalo. So that's cool. Yep. And on to my stuff. So, a couple things I didn't show this uh, pocket watch back piece. And uh, this is really cool actually, and I didn't, didn't know what I had at the time. Uh, but it's actually a keg spigot, colonial keg spigot. I've got another one of these, a bigger one at home. That's 1700s all day. And uh, ended up with a couple of bale seals right there. Uh, and a couple of buttons, nothing special. Harmonica reed, uh, one of those harness rings. Uh, a Sacagawea dollar, I didn't get that on film. That was cool. And I uh, got a couple of Indians. One's kind of crusty, the one's uh, 1909, I think. And uh, Wheaties. And I ended up with two Coppers, two King Georges, George II's, and uh, two Barber Quarters. I don't know if I've ever found two Barber Quarters in a day. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. This one's kind of cr crusty, but we'll try to figure out what the date is when we get home. 1901. And my find of the day is this beautiful condition real i'm gonna clean that up better when i get home uh it's still got some crud on it but it's got great detail under there wicked happy to have it so all in all we ended up with a really good day first day out this year and uh pretty cold day in march up in new england but we're happy happy to be out and uh happy to be hunting and giving you guys some uh, videos to watch. So. Yeah, it was it was 70 degrees yesterday, and now we have frostbite. <laughs> yeah, today that's the way it is up here in New England. So, <laughs> yep, uh, we've we've learned to live with it, but it's uh, it's not fun. I guess it's it's sort of fun when you find stuff like this. It's always fun when you find like stuff like this. So, but we're okay. We'll uh, we'll be out hopefully again in a couple weeks or so, and send you another video when we go out. Until then, take care.